stuck in the animal water bowl. He can't seem to get out. Watch this. Come on. Come on. Come on. anymore hey everybody welcome back I apologize if you're getting some wind noise it's a little breezy today and my camera doesn't cancel that out very good like right now nothing but blue skies and sunshine it's hot and humid it's supposed to be 95 95 to I've seen anywhere to 104 105 um, for today and tomorrow So I'm going to put a filter on this truck. It's the, the I don't even know what they call it, crank, crankcase breather filter. Looks like that. This is a micro guard, which are made by Fram. It goes up in the air box of the truck. So I'm going to do that right now. And then uh, I got to run some errands. Got to go to the, where do I have to go? I have to go to the pharmacy. And I think I might take uh, take my daughter out for a drive out around the lake. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off, there's six screws down on each side of the air filler. And it's a 5 16 uh, nut driver is what I'm using. And you just take those out. So I ended up taking the air box completely out of the truck. The reason being was the two screws if you're looking at it from the left side of the truck, that screw and that screw right there, these don't actually have to come out, these two middle ones. These two were stuck. You got a little piece that fits up in the bottom of that, the bottom of the box, and it looks like that, if you can see it. And it's round along the bottom, then this fits up inside the plastic, and then your bolt comes down and screws into that. Well, this was just spinning and they stuck, so I took some vice grips, clamped onto the bottom of it, and then I could zip them out. Yeah, that was fun. I ran to the parts store and I got me a new, picked up a new air filter while I was at it. And where is my breather filter? Here it is. And the way that these go in and out is there's a horseshoe clip. Being that it looks kind of like a horseshoe, it's got a little lip on it. You just pull on that and it comes off. This filter, it's a micro guard filter, and it's, a, it's more of just a foam type filter, where the other one was a paper filter, but they just slip into that hole, just like that. There's a little, little notch, if you look on the bottom of that, a little notch on there, and it fits into the notch on the box. And you just fit it in there, and then you put this clip back on it, your hose, of course, just, it just slips over that. There was no clamp or anything on it. So then I got a new, uh, new Wix air filter. And that just goes in the top. And then your lid goes back on. We'll uh, finish doing this, and then I will show you how this mounts back in the truck, which will explain how it comes out as well. All right, so we got the air box here with both filters mounted in it. This tube here 
brings fresh air into your air box in the bottom of your air box down here and it just clamps in there just slides in like so actually we'll put the top ones on foist my screwdriver Once those are on, you know, give it a good push like that. It slips down in there. I'm going to go ahead and put those two screws in, which are right here. And I need my nut driver to do it. And these, just screw down into that bracket down there, supposedly. Like so. Might as well tighten these up while I'm here. And that bottom, the bottom air tube then just snaps into the bottom of your air box. Like that. And that is all there is to it. And that will conclude the truck repair part of this vlog. And uh, it's only about 1230. I don't know what the temperature is out, but it is freaking hot out. Um, so I'm gonna get in some air conditioning, whether it's in the house or in the truck. Might go for a ride with my daughter down by the lake. Have to see what she wants to do, but anyway. <laughs> so Jill decided she wanted to go, where are we going? To the lake to fish. Where are we going? Going to the lake to fish. Well, we don't have any fishing poles, but we're gonna go see if we can spot some places to go fish in the future, right? Yep. It's really windy. It's gonna be windy on the camera. What are these, peanut? Looks like a cross between what? A kangaroo and a cow. A cross between a kangaroo and a cow? Supposed to be buffalo back here, but they don't have them back here yet. There's one fishing hole we could go at. Yep. Not real big. Yep. Driving through the trees, huh? Yep. Well, not through the trees. By the trees, though. By the trees? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, we'll go. We'll go find the lake. Yeah. Does that sound good? What do you think of that, Peanut? Love it. Love it. I think you'd want to go in there. Another potential fishing spot. That used to be all sand. There used to be a big sandbar there. I used to go fishing here in my younger years. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a sheep's there. A what? Sheep, those two rocks. Oh, when they were put together? Yeah, like that. Right up here, I don't remember there being parking like that. It used to be a big rocky area that we fishing at off of there. <gasps> no rocks anymore. Don't 
somebody just bunk our car into our car to make us fall in there. Do what? Say what? Turn that. And where are we now? At the Long Bridge. Yep. A few people out on the water today. got home from our little adventure and uh, I think that's probably gonna be the end of today's vlog. I think we might hit the pool. It's really hot out. It's like 95 and it's supposed to be that way tomorrow. But um, please subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.